found at the time, a barely legal. A pinch of marabou, uh, a little bit shorter than the shank of the hook. One feather um, you use it? Yeah, I'm gonna, so it's it's essentially, we're gonna do that and then we're, we'll put a uh, green on top and then we're gonna repeat that process, adding some of this flash in between them. Um, since this is a shorter hook, we'll probably do three or four uh, tufts of marabou on it. But just start off with this tail. So you know, since we're using more marabou, you don't need to have too bushy of a tail. But um, and you can this. I'm just grabbing this feather by the tip. But if you want to add more, you can just grab you know grab from the bottom and and add to the and add to the tip as you if you want as you grab it. Right. Is this enough or should you a little bit more? Okay. Yeah. Saves the material too. Right. So then you're gonna take your tuft of olive marabou and then you're gonna lay it right over its seam length and uh, that'll be our tail. I'm not sure if you guys are kind of being cognizant of how far back your thread goes, but a good rule of thumb is to go to the barb of the hook. Um, that's kind of your end point. Right, right. that's, uh, that's right. what I use for really every fly I tie. So the green goes on top of the white thread. Right. And it helps to not necessarily <laughs> go back and forth licking your lips, but to uh, kind of moisten that uh, marabou and print it back. It just gives you a little more room to work with. Um, ideally, you'd have a little cup with water and, you know, and do that. So kind of take your thread and tie some of this down and make it a little smoother. And then one one little thing I do with most uh, flies with the tail, whether it's a stone fly or uh, a streamer, is I'll take the thread and I'll go under the tail in the back. Right. And it just helps to kind of prop it up just a little bit. So then we'll uh, take our sparkle. Uh, I don't even know what we're calling it. What it is? Sparkle string or whatever. Sparkle material. <laughs> <laughs> so you could, like, I'm going to put you this loose. You could do a dubbing hook. Exactly. I mean, that's you what a dubbing loop. It's cheaper. Right. To buy. Right. So do a dubbing loop and put some, uh, you know, white bride or whatever really you want in there. Sure, the loose. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna, so we're gonna tie that in. Tie it back to that barb, and then I'll tie it forward, get that right out of the way. And then, so you should have that tied in like that. And as I wrap it, I like to print it backwards. Yeah. And just to make sure that's, we're yeah, using, so we use as much of it as we can versus it getting trapped, right. yeah. No, like I said, wrap. the original recipe calls for uh, a shorter chenille, or a chenille actually, a flashy chenille. So we're gonna wrap I think this will work just fine. No, we're just gonna go, let's see, I'm on number three, probably four, four wraps forward. So really, the, the we're done with new techniques on this fly. It's it's the same process repeated until you get to the front with this fly. So so that'll be my next piece yeah, for the bottom maybe side. Show up. And how, how are you sizing this? As far? Yeah, you don't, you, so we're gonna dye it on the bottom, but we'll look at it on top. So we really want to just go, you know, quarter inch shorter than the last one. Okay. Uh, we're trying to build this bulk, and imagine it wet, right? It's gonna really 
all kind of fused together and so we want it to okay, to taper yeah, a little bit but and, and it's really amazing. okay if you tie it a little bit too long we can pull some of these off at the end but uh this bottom side is yeah, you're right you're right. a little bit tricky but not too bad so did you like them way back in the day you like doing yeah. And this, this last uh, marabou up front, you can leave a little thicker. Um, the ones that are closer to the hook shank, you kind of, you don't thin them out, but the one up front, you can leave a little thicker just because it's not uh, super in contact with that hook or with the hook point.